Okay, class, welcome to CED 610. My name is Professor Javier Valdez, and I will be your professor for this month of July. We will be learning about theories. So the class is called Advanced Counseling Theories. Um, I have already sent you an email, a welcome email with uh, lots of information. Um, I do include an intro of myself, so I do recommend that you look at that before you view this video, just to kind of get to know who I am and, um, and know my background. So this is the syllabus. What we're going to do today is go over the syllabus and then go over the assignments um, and talk a little bit about the group um, project that is a big uh, assignment for this class. So this is my contact info. I prefer that you email versus uh, call me uh, just because email is attached or connected to my phone and I'm able to uh, view it as a text message. So um, it's best if you email me first. If I don't reply within uh, 24 to 48 hours, then uh, go ahead and uh, send me a text message uh, to my cell phone. Um, but email would be the best. And so here's a course description and um, pretty much in a nutshell, we're going to be learning about theories and applying those theories to um, a case scenario and uh, role playing those theories and also presenting on a theory that I have assigned to you. So um, the focus is on theories and I know theories tends to be a dry subject, but we'll try to make it as enjoyable for you all uh, this month. So. We do have the learning outcomes and course specific expectations. I do expect that you look at these um, on your own time. And just so that you know, I will be also attaching the syllabus to uh, the email that that will be sent out, which is the welcome email. Um, so this is how you will be evaluated, which is the most important and what everybody wants to do and know about, right? So you will be assigned a counseling theory and a group. Um, that group and your group members have been identified already. And so that's also in that email. So please, again, read that email in its entirety, which is a welcome email that I will send out and uh, or have already sent out and make sure that you are communicating with your group members on this project. And technically, this is 20 points. Uh, I have already assigned you a theory as a group. And here you will definitely uh, do some research on that theory and role play a scenario that depicts the main tenets of that theory. So presentations will be a discussion and presentation of a particular theory approach. And so that theory has already been assigned to you. And so your presentation should include the following information. So you should have information on the theory. So basic concepts, assumptions, the strengths and weaknesses, uh, when is it appropriate to use and not to use, and then the last component of your presentation uh, will be the application of the theory. And this is where um, two of your members will role play um, the theory and demonstrate how the theory would play out. Um, so in essence, each group has seven members. What I would recommend is that five members um, are assigned to the, uh, the content of the presentation. So for example, the information on the theory, the strengths and weaknesses, basic assumptions, key concepts, when is it appropriate to use and not to use. And then I would assign two group members to actually role play the theory as you present um, via the Blackboard Live Collaborative session on week three and four. So I will assign groups uh, of uh, when they will present. Uh, we will present um, during week three and week four. So um, the presentation is to be no more than 30 minutes and there is to be a handout. Um, I will go over a handout and examples of this during uh, week two. So I will provide a, um, a, an example of a PowerPoint presentation and also an example of a handout uh, that uh, students have done in the past. And so here the handout should just summarize the essential information of the theory and include any suggestions for uh, specific um, theories or orientations that the, that the specific uh, theory is, um, is addressing. So 
Again, it should just be a one page handout that you should email me uh, prior to your presentation along with your PowerPoint. Okay. So again, this is going to be a group project. Um, it will be a presentation on a theory that I have already assigned to you and your group members have been identified already um, with your theory. And that is all on the email. Um, the first email that I have already sent. Um, the second assignment, this is where it's a little, um, a little interesting. And for this course, um, the second assignment, what I do is I give students a choice of doing a methods paper or actually taking an actual final exam. Okay. Most students opt to do the methods paper, which is a three to five page double space written paper. Uh, and where student applies the at least two counseling theories and their techniques in a school counseling situation or scenario. In the paper, you describe a hypothetical scenario and a person or client and include the following sections in the paper. So you include the brief description of the situation. So here you include the, the scenario. What, what is it that you're trying to address, right? Then you identify the issue or the problem. And then you identify two theories of your choice and you tell me why they're appropriate for this client. And then you describe the techniques that you will use within those theories to address the individual for the behavior you wish to have the individual display. Okay. Again, number two, which is methods paper for applying theories is an option. You could do that paper or do a final exam on the last week of class. Okay. So it's an either or, um, both the final and the paper are, are worth 20 points. So you could either do the final or do the paper. Uh, from my experience, most students do the paper. Um, the paper must include at least three citations from a primary source source, such as a journal of counseling and development or a preview journal or published book. Your textbook may be used as a source. Now the next assignment is worth 10 points. This is where you're going to um, apply theories in a counseling situation, right? And for this assignment, you will select the theory and you're going to write a script as a role play with a dialogue based upon techniques of that theory or that model. And here you're going to record a video of the role play. So in essence, you're going to be selecting a theory and you're going to write a script of a role play with the counselor and client, and you will be playing the counselor and you will then um, be role playing if, um, as if you were talking to a client. Now, um, given the situation here with COVID, I am allowing students to um, use a friend, a sister, a brother, a significant other, anybody that, um, that you live with. So that way um, you're not going out and finding a friend that, you know, has been, you know, quarantined um, or whatnot, or, you know, uh, relying on other people. Cause I, I know that given the situation with COVID, uh, we want to make sure that you are all safe. So for this assignment, I'm okay. If you use um, someone uh, that lives with you, a significant other, a brother, a sister, uncle, aunt, mom, dad, um, if you use someone else to, pl to role play the client in this, um, in this video. So uh, just to give you the summary of this, you will facilitate an individual role play. The role play will be filmed. Um, you will select a topic and a grade level that you wish to address. So in the beginning of your film, I want you to select the topic that you're going to be addressing and the grade level. Um, so the topic could be, you know, eating disorders, depression, anxiety, you know, there's so many topics. Um, your role play will reflect your learning and should reflect your understanding of the theory that you choose. You should also know the description and techniques or counseling skills covered in this course and also that are recommended to use in the theory. 
your video should be a short video guys so uh, please note that don't make it a 20 minute video it's a quick five to six minutes so make it short um, you will be the counselor and you will find someone else to act as the client again I'm okay with using um, someone else as a client, someone that lives with you. I know given COVID, we don't wanna be out and trying to expose ourselves to, to this virus. So um, here, both you and the client must have speaking parts. Both you and the client will role play from the script you have written. There will be a script that you will write and you're gonna submit that script with your video um, to me. I will provide a copy of a script so that way you have a an example to go by and I'm also going to submit a um, or email you a video of, a, of an example of a, of a, a video that was already created. Um, so again, you are responsible for appropriately displaying the theory, the skills and the techniques and the strategies that are appropriate for the children or youth that you are role-playing with uh, to uh, address personal, social, or economic uh, micro issues, okay? You will also need a visual aid during your skit. So not need, you may use a visual aid during your skit. So if you have like, some of the students use like, a, like some, some poster boards, other students uh, use a whiteboard to demonstrate a, a, a um, a technique um, or demonstrate a desired behavior they want their client to work on. Um, this uh, is very, visual aids are very helpful with uh, addressing uh, elementary students. Uh, some of uh, the students are better visual learners at that age. So you may use a visual aid, um, um, a visual aid during your skit. So then after you are done with your video, you will upload your video to YouTube. Um, that's the preferred method. And then all you would have to do is submit your URL link under the assignment. And this assignment would be due uh, week three, okay? And, um, and if I didn't mention all the due dates, there's no due dates here, but the due dates for uh, the assignments are on the um, on the course on the online course so I'll go over that as well uh, this is just the uh, description of the assignments there will also be a practicum experience essay here students are expected to complete five to ten hours of field experience again given COVID um, we don't want you going out and observing uh, folks in the field right now so what we've been doing is any online meeting, webinar, um, any board meeting that you've watched, any training that you've been part of, um, will count. We will count those hours as practicum experience. Um, I do have a list of resources that I will email you all. And uh, if you are having issues with finding a webinar or or um, you know, finding the training or meeting to be part of, okay? And again, you could go ahead and read uh, the components of this reflective essay. And uh, there, um, you know, you wanna make sure that you're addressing the bullet points here in your essay, okay? Uh, there will be week weekly video questions. So we will have videos that you will watch and then you will uh, submit uh, weekly um, video uh, responses to the um, videos you watch. So those will be worth a total of 30 points. And then you'll have weekly discussion posts. And so here you're expected to start your own response to each board question and respond to at least two of your classmates. Okay. Um, here we have some guidelines. You should have a thoughtful and well-written response with at least 50 words. Um, and so your initial response should reference the readings, the text, the lectures, your field experiences, etc. Okay. Um, your response to classmates posting should be respectful and elicit engaging dialogue. Okay. And must contribute to the discussion and must be a minimum of 50 words. Uh, late posts will not receive any credits. So 
you want to make sure that you post your initial post by Wednesday of each week and and then uh, your responses to your classmates by Saturday midnight of each week okay and this is uh, 10 points of participation so you know those that attend the uh, collaborative sessions during week three and four those that's when we'll have our group presentations um, I will take note of that and give you points for that so your participation and um, your uh, collaborative sessions which will be during week three and four will give you points and also the um, involvement and your pre-assessment which i will go over in uh in a short in a little in a little bit and so the pre-assessment is just a uh, pre-assessment that you would take during week one and i'll show that in a minute this is a breakdown of the grades so you can take a look at that and the rest is just stuff for you to to uh, read on your own okay so in summary, you have your group presentation, you have either a methods paper to do, or a, uh, a final to submit, and the final is a uh, combination of multiple choice, short response, and essay questions. You have a role play video, which will be 10 points, and then you have your practicum essay, your weekly video questions and your weekly discussion boat um, post sorry and participation points okay so now the syllabus will be attached to that email that I have already sent out so you will have a copy of that when we look at the actual course this will be week one and so this will be the format of the course. So week one, you'll have, re you'll have your uh, learning objectives, then you'll have your readings, and then the content that supports the readings. And for week one, um, here, again, this discussion post, your initial post should be submitted by Wednesday, by midnight, okay? And then your two responses should be submitted by Saturday, midnight. Okay, and here you're going to discuss your theoretical orientation and or the results of your self-assessment. And you are to take a self-assessment, which is found at the bottom of this page. So what I would recommend that you do is first take the self-assessment. Once you do that, then go ahead and answer your discussion post. Okay. And then here is, how do you think your theoretical orientation will affect your work as a counselor? What cautions or limitations should be considered? Okay. And I also want you to talk to me about what did you learn from the self-assessment? Okay. So this will be your initial um, discussion, and then you will contribute to two classmates by Saturday. I also want you to introduce yourselves. So I know we are all camera shy, so please uh, introduce yourself. There is a little, um, a little video, or not video, but a little aid here to help you uh, upload a, a video of yourself and discussing uh, who you are. And so this would be a good opportunity to introduce yourselves to your peers as well, okay? So I want you to do that for week one. Uh, we won't have a collaborative because, um, as I have mentioned, uh, this recording will s serve as a collaborative, our collaborative for week one. So you don't have to worry about that. And these are the video reflections that I was talking to, to you about. Uh, you'll have vi video reflections throughout each week. So what you'll do is you'll look at the video, then you'll click on the link here and start answering the questions related to the video okay so you'll have your video reflections so those there's one reflection there's a debrief and then there's a second reflection and a debrief to that second reflection okay so all of those have to be done and then you have to do your self-assessment okay so that is week one 
Now, for week two, I do just want to go briefly over this week. Um, you have your learning objectives, your readings, and then your content, and then your discussion boards. We won't have a week two collaborative session, but you do have your videos. And you have your debriefs to those videos. And then here it has a group presentation. Okay, so this is where you will be submitting your group presentation. Um, now, as I've mentioned, um, this, this is where you'll submit your group materials. So that will be the handout and the PowerPoint. Um, group one will be going first. So you will have your materials submitted to me um, before your presentation. And that will be um, during week three. So we will meet uh, week three and that will be July. Let me look at my my calendar here. That will be July 22nd at 6 p.m. Okay, so group one will be going first and then we'll have group two and three go during week four. So this is where you will submit your materials, your PowerPoint and your handout to me. So that way I could grade your presentation and your handout. Okay. All right, so I'm not going to go into too much more. I will email you with a list of resources to start looking at for webinars and online trainings. I will also email the class examples of excellent uh, videos that students have created for their role play and a, an example of a script. Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. And um, if you have any questions, you could always feel free to contact me or email me. Okay. Thank you.